Well, first of all, thank you all for being part of this e extraordinary event. And uh, I am delighted to introduce Nikki Hawkins, who is the Community Affairs Manager at 6ABC. Nikki has been at a ABC for 16 years in front of the camera for a number of years, and now behind the camera in programming and production. In addition to many extraordinary special assignments, Nikki produces one of the most widely viewed shows on 6ABC, Inside Story, which covers politics and community affairs. She's become my friend and colleague ever since she brought me in as one of her insiders. So today, she's back in front of the camera, and she's here to announce our winners of Jazz Tank's business plan track. Please welcome to the podium, Nikki Hawkins. How about a hand for our Dr. Donna Gentile O'Donnell? How fabulous. She has been on Inside Story for about a year uh, plus, so authentic, so endearing, so knowledgeable, so full of energy. We are lucky to have you on 6ABC as an insider, and you're lucky to have her here at Jefferson as Vice President of Strategic Partnerships. Absolutely. Absolutely. Congratulations, sweetie. All right. Just greetings, everyone. Again, my name is Nikki Hawkins. What a day you've had, right? Excited. Everyone's like, yes, yes, this is great. Welcome to the third annual Jazz Tank, a really one of the coolest and most creative events I've seen uh, in the greater Philadelphia area. Um, I'm so pleased that I was uh, asked to join you and actually uh, talk about the exciting new trajectory that Jefferson is on, uh, moving uh, and uh, bringing more great ideas towards realization. And that's what tonight's event is about. Am I right? So um, I definitely want to recognize Dr. Steve Spinelli. Yes? All right. Hey, stand up. Whoa. Hey. Yay, Steve. And Dr. Rose Ritz. Hello, lady. <laughs> Dr. Smidelli, uh, we want to just recognize your leadership and working um, uh, with the amazing Dr. Steve Glasgow on uh, the proposed merger of really two great Philadelphia institutions, right? Fantastic. Is that exciting? <laughs> Philadelphia University, <laughs> Jefferson Hospital. Uh, and Dr. Ritz for your leadership in driving this event to new heights, its third year. Uh, I also want to recognize Dr. Robin Sheldon, right? Yes. Dr. Uh, uh, Robin Sheldon. <laughs> From the first jazz tank, yes, here we go. Um, and they've been up, she's been pushing this idea uh, of development and realization and commercialization in the broader uh, Jefferson community and beyond. All right, good stuff. Uh, and now, are we ready for the big moment? All right, you've had your cocktails, you mixed and mingled, you did your pitches, the judges are here and we're ready to announce. We actually were going to announce uh, three winners, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie for first place. Is this exciting? We have a tie. Is this the first ever tie? First ever tie. Two outstanding winners. We're going to announce the first winner. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Now that's a drum roll. <laughs> the first of the two first place winners goes to Mindset. Yay, come on up. That's Ravi, your, how do you, Ravi Shanko, Ravi Shanko, Pri, um, Priya Mammon, come on up. Come on right over here. They're with Jefferson and Washington University. Come right on up for the award. Congratulations. We want pictures, pictures. There we go. All right, congratulations, mindset. Excellent. Good stuff. All right, and the second of the first place winners, we have Circle Lux Incorporated. All right. That's Tim Bobber, Lorenzo, Alibala. And of course, they're from Jefferson as well. Congratulations. I love it. 
Another round of applause for our winners for the third annual Jazz Tank. Way to go. Congratulations to all the contestants. And we're going to ask Dr. We're going to ask Dr. Spinelli to come on over. Well, thank you, uh, everyone, for being here. This is a small example of the dynamic nature of this institution. And I say this institution because the merger is all but approved, and we're really far along the way. And we become the fourth or fifth largest institution in the greater Philadelphia area. I think we are already the most interesting institution in the greater Philadelphia area. We really are a market-facing, value-creating organization that believes that people can have an impact immediately upon their graduation. Well, frankly, like with some of these folks, they're having an immediate impact on the value of the community and in improving the human condition. And I think what this is emblematic of is the kind of great organization that we're going to be and, and can impact Philadelphia, and maybe, frankly, even impact higher education. Um, I, I re really encourage the, the participants today to take their ideas to the next level. It almost doesn't matter if you're successful. Don't get that wrong. I want you to be, and I want you to make a lot of money, and I want you to give some of it to us. <laughs> I, I'm clear about value propositions here, and I, and I want you to be a part of that. But when you're a part of a community, a community like you know, Rose and, and Robin who bring us together, uh, our terrific faculty and volunteers like the judges who are exceptional professionals that want to be a part of something special. You have a responsibility, I think, to be a part of that in a bigger way. So it doesn't, in, in a lot of ways, I, I don't like these ceremonies because it feels like an end. The reality is this is a beginning. It certainly is a beginning of your responsibility to be a part of the Jefferson community and the community of entrepreneurship. So it, it's really my pleasure as the incoming chancellor of this new university to welcome you as a part of the leadership of, of this organization and to drive us to greater heights and, and better value and wonderful times and great wealth and incredible contributions that you're going to make. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. Oh, and we will continue the reception. There's, uh, they tell me that there's almost unlimited alcohol and good food. Thank you for being here today.